Ho, Dynasty fam, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps, and we're back in the Rutgers Dynasty. Now, y'all already know what it is. We're about to jump in, take on this off season. Now, we gave out season awards earlier today. If you missed that, man, go and check it out. Uh, MVP, newcomer of the year, best offensive player, defensive player, most improved, all of that stuff, man. It was pretty fun. Go and check it out. A lot of those players are actually coming back, so we're going to see what they can do going into this season. But as we move into the offseason, our national championship year is done. You know, it's in the books. And I think we did the most with it because we went 14-0, we went in Natty, and we did a great job of turning that into recruiting last year. And then that should also get us some recruits this year and then, of course, we need to have another good season. But we're losing two cornerstones of our defense, which is Blasson, Austin, and Warden, who didn't play particularly well in the national championship. Now, I know they had to cover for a long time, but that's not new. You know what I'm saying? That's not new for them. They always have to cover for a long time, and they do a much better job than they did in that game. But Jake Browning was throwing dots, and those receivers was fast, so... I'm not mad at it, but I'm just curious to see what this season is going to bring now that we no longer have those guys. Now, here we go. Clifton Royal, the highest quarterback rating in NCAA history? I probably have broken this, this record before, but maybe I haven't. I really don't know because I kind of speed through this part a lot of times. But, dude, that's, that's impressive. That's an impressive record, bro. He has the highest quarterback rating in, in a single season in NCAA history as of the stats of this game. That is insane. He also did win our Offensive Newcomer of the Year, but damn. Brent Davis broke the receiving record. Yes, sir. Also broke the touchdown record. Let's go. That's for the school. School career touchdown record. He's broken the school career touchdown record. He's a sophomore. Blasign broke the interception record, his own. <laughs> so that's what's up, man. And all those records are cool, but I'm really most impressed by Clifton Royals. Um, that's crazy. I don't think I ever broke that award. If I did, like I say, I just never paid attention. Uh, we also got Coach of the Year. I didn't even talk about that. Got Coach of the Year, man. I mean, it was just a great season. A great, great season. I'm kind of still high off of it, but I don't know how much of that I want to carry with me. You know what I'm saying? But overall, bro, we are 39-2 and two in our three seasons at Rutgers. So we're going into our fourth year. We haven't lost a ball game. We only lost one game versus the top 25 team. That, of course, was a rival. But we haven't lost a game in two seasons. I just realized that. Damn. That's what's up. That is what's up. So here we go. We're going to advance to the next stage. Players leaving. All right. Time to find out who's dipping, man. I hope I get my beastly defensive coordinator back, but I ain't trying to go through all the Coach Carrison stuff. I ain't gonna stunt. I don't, I don't really be messing with that. <laughs> all right, now we gotta check out players leaving, but we see we had some movement where our OC, uh, DC has no points. So I guess it just means we got our same DC back, right? It can't mean we got like a level zero DC. That makes no sense. Oh, man. No, that's not the same guy. He sucks. Great. <laughs> awesome. You know what I'm saying? That sucks. All right, anyway. We're going to go ahead and boost up our Insta commit to 10%. This will come in handy in the preseason next season. I'm not really worried about their stuff yet. We'll do that when it comes time to get ready to actually put the guys on the field. And, you know, we'll do it then. Anyway, players leaving, man. Let's see what we got. All right, all right. We got a couple of people. A couple of people that are seniors. That's awesome. I'm not... Silva wants to leave. I mean, all right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I, I'll probably talk to him, but... Anyway, Jerome Washington, my tight end, going the second round. That boy's a beast. We kind of treated him like OJ. We didn't use him. OJ Howard. Not the other OJ. We didn't use him that much. All right, LaShawn Childs, who actually won best teammates, going in the fifth round. So that's what's up. We got two guys going in. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna promise this dude because honestly, I just don't even think he's gonna play. Like, what's the point? All right, we got Heeman leaving. 
And like, I'm really kind of ignore this stuff because it's stupid a lot of times. Like, you gonna tell me war in that sign ain't going to the league? Man, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. They going to the goddamn league. That's facts. I don't care what the game say. All right, man. Transfer request. We got nothing. <laughs> I never go to the draft results because they're just the same as the projection. Like, for me, every time it's like whatever the projections say, the results say the same. All right, bro, so let's jump into recruiting. Now, I always like to just go take a peek at the board. Good goodness, bro. Look at all the players. Nice. All right. Now, who the hell do I actually want out of these people that we got left on the books? Let us see. Probably not that many of these dudes. I don't care about him. Uh, Corey O'Donnell. Corey O'Donnell's pretty good. We'll, we'll keep him in mind. What's up with this tight end? Well, how we looking? Nah, I'm not about to. I ain't about to risk going out to him. Hell with him. Uh, who else we got? Okay, I need to go to. Back to this. The scouting. I don't really like him. I don't really like him. I don't need no damn quarterback. Nope. Bryson Jones, 84 sale though. Good man coverage, good zone coverage. You know, just good coverage. You can run route. Ooh, the route runners are 90. How tall is this dude? Oh, he's Juco. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sucks when you get to this point and you don't really want none of these dudes. I want Matt Rogers because he looks like a linebacker to me. And we losing Kai Hester, and you know what I'm saying? So I am going to need a lot to bring in a linebacker. So, and he got good block shed. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably roll with him. No, I'm going to roll with him. Um, trying to decide how many points. Probably like 8,000. Probably could have just went the other way, but <laughs> I didn't really know how many points I was going to put on when I started. So. Let's say let's say eight thousand for now. Do we offer him? We did offer him. All right. <sighs> so we offer him. Now let's see. Who is the other person I want? It would be this guy if he wasn't Juco. Like it would be him hands down. But I just feel like we got enough young players. That I really don't need to bring in a Juco guy at the wide receiver position, which I think is his best position. Now we have Corey O'Donnell, who is an, another Juco guy. Damn. I probably just threw on a bunch of Juco at the end of the year, which makes sense. All right, look at this dude. This is another potential linebacker. Dan Burke. Again, I, I know I can't get that tight end at this point. These receivers just don't do it for me, bro. They don't. They really don't. I mean, this dude's not bad, though. I'm looking at everything. He's definitely not bad. The one players is not bad, though, at this point. Not really. I want players that's really good. You know? Really goddamn good. Um, Alex Everett. I mean, I guess it, does. it won't kill me to bring in a QB right now. He's Juco. It will kill me. It'll kill me. Because I'm like, my guys will both be sophomores. I could bring in a guy, redshirt him, and then when my guys are junior, he'll be a redshirt freshman. And then, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> we're not really pressed to do that right now. Who's the other guy? I, I think it's got to be Bryson Jones. It's got to be one of these Juco people. Either Bryson Jones or Corey O'Donnell. Okay, so O'Donnell's a sophomore and Jones is a junior. Bam. And there you go. And like I said, I think Jones is a little bit better. But O'Donnell got a whole extra year of eligibility. So, uh, yeah. Let's look at him one more time with that knowledge. Now, he's 6'3". 91 speed. 91 excel. 75 catch. That's good. 82 route running. His catching traffic is trash. His release is garbage. Mm. All right. Let's go back to him. Release also garbage. Now, I am aware that both of these dudes could play defense. Like, I see their coverage stuff, but I signed so many corners. I doubt that I'm going to want them Juco guys over there. I don't need them. Feel me? I'd rather just use my freshman over there. But offensively, I, I might could use an extra receiver. But I, I mean, Bryson Jones is just too good. He's just too good with 90 route running. 
you know, I just think I have to go with him over Chris. Uh, but Chris is faster, and he's taller, and he's younger. I'm gonna go with Chris. I offer him. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Chris and Max. I don't care about the rest of these guys. They're either quarterbacks, which I don't need a JUCO quarterback. Can't help me. Um, I usually don't go through all this, but I will, just in case, because some people always question me on this type of stuff. Um, both of my quarterbacks are redshirt freshmen, so it'll be redshirt sophomores going into this year, bringing in a JUCO junior quarterback who is not even as good as them. He'll just never play, so it's a waste. You feel me? It's a, a complete waste for me to even bring him in. If he was a true freshman, it, it's still a little early, to be honest, because he wouldn't play until he was a junior. But, you know, we're going to go after those two guys. Hopefully, we can bring them in, close out recruiting, and then, you know, move on from there. <sighs> oh. <sighs> All right, bam, we get both of them. That's money. Cool. Go into signing day. Top classes, number six. We don't have any five-star recruits. That sucks. I am not happy about that. I'm sure some of our four stars are actually five-star guys, but on paper, we don't have any five-star recruits, man. Number six class, I bet you my class is better than that. I almost guarantee it. You feel me? Seven three-star guys, they got to be beastly, and I know if I got a two-star guy, you got to be good, too. So, anyway, number six, I'm not happy with that at all, honestly. Like, if I'm not top three in recruiting classes, I ain't happy with it. I'm happy with my class, I'm just not happy with my ranking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of pissed me off, like, on the slick. Anyway, part two of the offseason to drop a little bit later today. Y'all stay tuned for that, and I'll see y'all then.